the Lava Iris X series of devices is aimed at bringing an Android KitKat experience to budget smartphone users. The first handset to be launched in this range is the Lava Iris X1. With a price tag of Rs. 7,999 and an impressive set of specifications, the phone looks all set to take on the Moto E and Micromax Unite 2. So how does it perform in real life? Let's take a look. The Lava Iris X1 is available in a choice of black and white color options. The glass front and plastic back panel don't feel cheap and the chrome strip on the sides adds to the premium aesthetic. The phone features a row of Android buttons below the display which are backlit for convenience. Thanks to its compact size, the Iris X1 is ideal for one-handed use without feeling cramped when using the keyboard. The 4.5-inch IPS display features a resolution of 854 into 480 pixels. While it isn't the sharpest screen, colors are vibrant and lifelike. The 179-degree viewing angle makes it great for watching videos too. Coming to software, the Iris X1 runs Android 4.4.2 KitKat and offers users a pure Android experience with minimal alterations to the user interface. Preloaded apps are also few, giving you more storage for your downloads. For processing power, the Iris X1 is equipped with a 1.2 GHz quad-core Broadcom processor aided by 1 GB of RAM. Unfortunately, this is an area where the phone falls short, freezing on occasion and displaying lags when typing. The Iris X1 is fine for light gaming, but can't handle the heavy graphics of intensive games like Riptide GP2. The camera setup is one area where the Iris X1 excels, featuring an 8MP primary camera with dual LED flash and even a 2MP front camera for video calls and selfies, the phone is sure to keep you shutter happy. Results are pleasing and the camera is able to capture daylight and macro shots well. As with most budget devices, storage is always on the lower side. The internal storage maxes out at 4 GB, out of which a little over 2 GB is available to use. This is pre-partitioned for apps and media, resulting in a gigabyte of space for each. The micro SD card slot can increase storage by an additional 32 GB. The Iris X1 packs in an 1800 mAh battery, which requires a charge after a day of usage especially when both SIMs are inserted. In our standard video loop test, the phone ran for 6 hours and 45 minutes before the juice ran out. To sum it all up, the Iris X1 is an attractive budget handset, with the slightly sluggish performance being the only factor that mars the experience. However, if what you desire is an affordable Android KitKat smartphone with a great display and a competent set of cameras, the Iris X1 comes across as a compelling option.